Greetings, this is Pastor Weaver coming to you from the greater Los Angeles community area with a fresh word for the week here. So happy to be with you once again and really appreciate you who just tune in week after week after week after week and get this word. Hopefully that's encouraging you and giving you strength to try to make it through the week. The word for this week is a word that I love and the word is prove. Even James Brown had a theology that said a lot of people are talking loud, but they're saying nothing. Uh, we often hear that people give lip service, but they don't give life service. And so I want to come to you with this word, prove yourself. It's found in the book of James. I love the book of James. I love this writer here. I love what he says in James chapter one and verse number 22. And it simply says right there in this text, it says, but prove Prove yourselves doers of the word and not merely hearers who delude themselves. Now, think about this. It says be doers, be doers of the word. It said prove yourself to be doers of the word. And so in essence, let's not just read the word, but let's live the word. Let, let's not, not just talk about the word. Let's be about the word. Let's not just uh, uh, hear stories or share stories, but the fact about what God is pouring into us, let that pour out of us in the way we live, in the way we love, in the way we're loyal to Jesus, in the way we're loyal to our family, in the way we're loyal to service to the church. Let's be doers of the word and let's prove it where that we don't have to tell somebody what we're doing because they can see what we're doing because we prove we are what we say we are by the way we live. So church, let me encourage you. People of God, let me encourage you. Those that you might not know God and you need to know him the way you can show yourself as a child of God is to prove what you believe by doing it. God bless you. Have a great week. Be encouraged. Be a doer.